Hello, thank you for joining me. My name is Malcolm Smith. I'm the chair of the HE's Advancing Dental Care Programme. Uh, the purpose of today really is to update you on some of the things that have been happening in the last few months and to give you a feeling for what is going to be happening over the next few months. For a start, uh, I'd like to talk about our engagement event, which is the one we held with our senior stakeholders on the 22nd of October. Uh, and this was well attended by about 70 people and was opened by the chair of HE, Sir David Bean. Uh, who gave us an overview of the bigger picture, the people plan, the NHS long-term plan and how the workforce, and particularly the dental workforce, fit into that. Uh, this was followed by the Chief Dental Officer, Sarah Hurley, who talked about the events that she is involved with with regard to development of the dental elements of the people plan and long-term plan. And then we went into a very interesting engagement event which was facilitated to discuss some of the possible pathways that we might be using for the future. And this was very much an engagement. It was very much about what might be the way forward. It wasn't what will be the way forward. And that's really important to know. So we had a, a, a tube map and it's been developed by one of our clinical fellows, which is a bit like an underground map. It starts off in a number of layers. It starts with what is happening now, the sort of modeling we've currently got. And then it overlays in a number of layers with various things which might be the future way of training, both around flexible training, around different sorts of pathways, uh, and around possibly part-time training. It again is not meant to be the final product and the whole purpose of the engagement event and the events that will follow is actually to refine that thinking and maybe to alter the direction of travel and maybe to make changes subtle or otherwise to what the future of dental education and training may look like. So the main stakeholder event is being followed by a number of local engagement events led by the postgraduate dental deans and these are already taking place, but there are still a number to come along. So if you get the chance, I would encourage you to go and attend these events and make sure that your voice is heard in the way dental education and training is going to be developed going forward for the next 10, 15, 20 years. This is a real long-term approach. Uh, we also have produced an evidence document based on a large amount of data that's been collected with regard to the workforce, and we are hoping to publish that in mid-December. It won't be complete because actually there are some elements like a, long, like a national workforce survey which we don't actually currently have but are hoping to get. So there are th things we still don't know but at least we, don't, we know that we don't know them as opposed to before when we didn't know we didn't know them so we are progressing. Um, some of the things that are being developed to be evaluated at the moment there are a number of training pathways which are in themselves already fairly innovative and different to the run of the mill. So we've identified those and we're looking at how we might evaluate those. In addition, the dental deans are looking at how other types of pathways might be piloted starting this year, perhaps starting next year. And it's really to inform that future training pathway modeling and the sort of pathways that we are going to use that we are holding the engagement events. The engagement process will run certainly through until the new year. And I expect it actually to be a fairly continuous process thereon, so that we're forever testing, looking and updating to make sure that we're delivering a workforce that we need and what our patients need, and an excellence in education and training. We do have a website. If you haven't been to have a look at it, I encourage you to do so. There's lots of useful information already on there. And that's also where you will find access to the, mailing, mail, the email address which we are using for people who want to feed in who haven't had a chance to be involved in the engagement events. We are particularly keen to hear from the younger dentists, from our own trainees, and from general dental practitioners, and also dental care professionals. So I would encourage you, if you would, to visit the website, and if you, have a, a, and if you do have something to say and some ideas that you want to share or to comment on some of the ideas that are already there, please email them in and we will look at those and we will look at everything we see and at the end of the day, what we hope to achieve is a model which is absolutely ready for any particular training direction of travel that there might be. Thank you very much for listening.